Hey YouTube, I just want to do a quick video here. Uh, this is a good day for me. Uh, I have been going around the mountain with this lady you see on the screen here a while back. And um, if I can get my mouse to move here. Two minutes to midnight. And she also has another channel, Terry Lynn Fargo, I believe. But what's interesting here is it looks like she's parting ways with uh, Cleck. And um, she's actually come out and done a video speaking against his teaching. And this all started back, I made a comment uh, on Mike's channel, uh, On Point Preparedness. And she was pushing Cleck. And I just made a comment, I says, oh great Mike, now you got Cleckites coming in here teaching, you know, false doctor and we're fallen angels and blah blah blah. Well she just went off the rails and made a few videos against me. But it looks like the Lord's woken her up to some degree. Um, she opens and she says here that the Jonathan Cleck thinks the Holy Bible is Satan's scripture. Jonathan has been in darkness so long. He is one very confused human slash hypocrite to accredit the Holy Writ to Satan. <coughs> and then she goes down here um, and she mentions... Um, Cleck had no interest or no intentions of reconciling with me, but judging me with falsehood. The word of God is not written by Satan, Cleck, but by the Holy Spirit of the Lord God through the scribes and the prophets of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in this video, she goes detailing her experience, which I'm not going to play any snippets of it because I'm still not exactly sure where her head is. I don't want her trying to ding me or something with some copyright or something. But if you guys are interested, uh, the name of the video is Jonathan Click Ask Who Wrote Your Scriptures. So, but she goes on to say she's caught Michael Spears lying and, you know, of course, you see the comments that she's made about Click. Now, another thing that she had uh, pulled out of a comment that I made about in the way Click teaches it or demonstrates it, um, I had made a comment that, that Jesus did not come in sinful flesh. And I understand that Scripture does refer to that. I think it's uh, Romans 8, 2, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong about that. But what I was trying to say is that if Jesus had sinful flesh, then he couldn't have been a sacrifice for us. Because if you look here on the screen, Deuteronomy 17, 1 says, You shall not sacrifice to the Lord your God an ox or a sheep which has a blemish or any defect for which is a detestable thing to the Lord your God. Therefore, if Jesus possessed sinful flesh, he had a defect. That would mean that he could not be a proper sacrifice for sins. That's all I was trying to say. But you know, I didn't go into enough detail, so, you know, I, I, can, I guess I can kind of understand her confusion on that. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. It's, it's a good day. It looks like we've got another Kleckite on her way out. If she's not already on the way out, she said they actually had some type of a meeting and voted her out. And she said that's not true. More people voted to keep her in, but Michael Spears is the one that made the decision to give her the boot. So, like I said, I feel bad that she's hurt on that end but I feel great that she's been delivered from this Kleckite cult and uh, I actually hope to see her on our channel uh, one of these days and uh, because I, I respect people even though I have disagreements with them they're seeking the truth that's what it's all about so with that you guys have a great evening love you if I can do anything for you let us know take care now bye bye